All right, so I said about doing a review on this Garmin Drive 50 that I bought for in my pickup. This is the, turn it on. This is the screen that shows up. Um, I'll do this real quick. So you got some apps, apps, volume settings stuff you can change. Where to? You can touch this screen. Shows you a map as to where you're at. All this stuff here. Your trip. Your moving average. Elevation, you can go in, you can change all that. Uh, trip data, brightness, volume, all that kind of stuff you can change. So, um, you can change stuff from direction, time of day, elevation, stuff like that. You can change your your speed and stuff. This has your trip coordinate, has your overall average, your max speed, your stop time. GPS accuracy three yards. So there's all kinds of stuff you can change in there. Um, this is a five inch screen. So, um, this is your next screen. It has you go home, which you put your home location in, address, favorites, history, categories, trip planner, a bunch of stuff. So we're gonna go this. And it pops up. It's the address to my works, what it is. You choose different routes. We're going to hit this button here. Show calculating. Or you navigate. Tells you your route. Tells you arrival time. It's going to show your speed. If you touch up here, you can scroll through. And it's going to tell you which way to go. to get to where you're wanting to go. So, um, and that takes, it'll take you right to where you're going. Um, one piece of advice I want to add about GPSs. Um, some of the guys I work with, there's kind of an old adage that uh, you have to be able to outsmart the box. And what we refer to as the box is the GPS. So, when we say you have to be able to smart the box, please, ladies and gentlemen, do not go by everything that the GPS says, turn for turn, word for word. Um, they are accurate, but they will not always lead you on the right path. Um, so you have to kind of have a general idea of where you're going. Um, just, you know, so you know, um, because it will take you down. And depending on your settings, whether you have it set for um, shortest route, quickest route, to avoid tolls, or whatever. Um, but, you know, especially in, in my profession, a lot of people get lost and get into bad situations and stuff because uh, they follow the GPS by exactly what it says. Um, As you can see, it highlights what in pink there. Um, if there were a traffic problem, it would go to all red. Um, if it was a, if it was stopped, if it was a slow down traffic issue, it would go to uh, yellow. Um, but it shows arrival time and and it shows the elevation and trip times, trip stuff like that. And there's the average. There's your speed. Um, so. You can zoom in, you can zoom out, you can do some different stuff with it. But anyway, um, my impression of, the, of the, the Drive 50 for in a car pickup or whatever, um, it's fine. Um, 
like I said before, I have another Garmin that I use for work, and it's tailored to uh, commercial vehicles, and I prefer it much better. Um, even in this truck, um, I do a lot of hauling and towing and stuff with this truck, so um, I just I prefer the Garmin, prefer the uh, the other GPS. Uh, it's also a five inch that I have for for the other truck, so. What I did notice though is I do like the five inch better than the seven inch. I have run a seven inch, um, and it's just too big. It takes up too much windshield space. Um, so, oh, there's a buck. Anyway, um, sorry, I got sidetracked. But anyway, the uh, the Drive Fifty is an okay GPS. I got it on sale. Um, I picked it up for about a hundred bucks at the uh, the pilot truck stop. Um, so um, I'm happy with it for, for in here um, and uh, like I said it, it works good I've traveled around with it use it, a, use it a good bit just to play around some stuff on it and uh, I'm fine with it so this application it works out very well so um, but anyway um, I wish it had some other features. I'm gonna give it, uh, I'll rate it at about four and a half stars. Uh, there's a few things I wish it did have, so, but that it doesn't, so anyway. All right, thank you for watching. Please like and share my videos, and uh, stay tuned for what's coming up next, so. Thanks, everybody, have a good day, be safe, bye.